video we're going to be taking a look at hook preprocess and hook preprocess hook. We're going to be implementing the hook preprocess and we're going to see what kind of hooks do we have for that page and then we're going to implement a specific hook preprocess hook. So here is our Drupal instance but first we're going to jump to drupal.org and for the API we're going to take a look at the hooks page and these are the hooks that are coming from core and an interesting hook for us now is basically the hook preprocess and if we take a look at the documentation for it we're going to be able to copy this bit from here and we're going to to jump to our code base and we're going to go to web teams custom the name of our team and we're going to open the name of our team dot team file and we're going to paste here that function and we're going to replace the hook with Drupal up and we're going to say that we are basically implementing hook preprocess that's perfect and interesting for us is what do we have here for hook so we're going to simply say var dump and we're going to var dump the hook value there we go and if we jump back to our Drupal instance and if we clear the cache we're going to see all the var dumps on the page and we would see what kind of hooks do we have that are pre-processing stuff for that templates basically and we see that we have obviously hook preprocess block we have hook preprocess region hook preprocess menu uh, there we have another block we would have also here for the title page we would have also for the views because this list is a view and we would have also for the field and all kinds of others but let's pick one and let's do a little example with it we're going to pick the hook menu so I'll copy that bit and I'm going to simply here say if the hook is menu we're going to basically we're not going to use var dump we have kint installed here so we're going to say kint and we're going to be kint showing all the variables so there we go we have the variables and if we clear the cache one more time we should see the kint output for all the hook preprocess functions that are preprocessing menus and there we have the hook preprocess for the menu and we have here the menu items there it is the home we would have all kinds of other things like attributes title prefix title suffix let's go ahead and play with the items so I'm going to add something to the title of every each of the menu items so I'm going to to simply for each the variables items as we saw it's called items and I'm going to for each them as item but as you see the variables are passed by reference so I'm going to for each them also by reference and I'm going to here say item 
as you see here title so item title equals basically item title but with e at the end so we would have in that instance homey and we would see for the others what would we have so i'm clearing the kint and if we simply clear the cache <laughs> that's really cool so now we have here the homey for other menus like here we have contacty here we have add config pagey and here we have add contenty and yeah that's really cool so but something else that we could also do is we could move that code here as we saw it's hook preprocess but we could move it into a better place and that's the hook preprocess hook and the hook preprocess hook is basically the same but it doesn't have the hook here but it has it here so let's go ahead and simply copy this so we're copying it and we're saying that we don't want the hook here as we saw from the example there but we would put here the hook that we used here in the if statement so we're saying that we're implementing a function that is called hook preprocess menu so let's go ahead and add a comment implements hook preprocess menu and then we could directly cut this and paste it here and here I say just for the for debugging or something so in order to implement this hook we should once again clear the cache and we should see that the functionality stays the same even though we cleared it from here and we put it into a better hook preprocess function so as we see here we still have the homey we have also here as you clear cache the clear cache container info -y. and here we have also the other menu items with the suffixes that we added perfect so if you like this video please take a look at Drupal Ops Patreon page also share subscribe and comment this video hit the thumbs up if you like it and thanks for watching